Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to draw a basic hand. Hands can seem really complicated because there's lots of moving parts to them, but I promise when you break them down into smaller shapes, um, they become a lot easier to draw. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your hand palm up and put it right next to the piece of paper that you're going to be drawing on. And then from there, you'll want to kind of look at your hand and start drawing the big basic shapes that you see. So. From up here, what I am seeing is kind of this big circly square that represents my hand, um, my palm. And then from here, I am going to draw an oval that connects my thumb to my hand. I am going to draw the base of my thumb. And then I'm going to draw the top of my thumb with a shape, I don't know how I would describe that. Um, from there, I'm gonna move on to my fingers. And this is the hardest part. You're gonna wanna go knuckle by knuckle. So some people wanna outline the whole finger first, but this way you can kind of see um, the individual pieces of the fingers. Um, kind of not get ahead of yourself and like drawing a whole finger when there are lots of different pieces to them um, that you'll want to make sure that you capture in your final drawing. Um, but just going shape by shape is a really good way to ensure that kind of everything looks proportional and that you're representing all of the pieces of the fingers. And yeah, and this part can be a pretty rough sketch. I mean, you can go back and, and put in all the details, but I'm telling you that when you start by looking at the basic shapes, it gives you the most accurate outline of your hand. Okay, so from there that looks like, you know, pretty basic, but what I'm gonna do is quickly go back in and erase some of the of the actual you know shapes that we did and maybe bring this in a little bit but that first original kind of shape that you drew is a really good guide um, for what your final result might look like so you can even go in and erase this part and erase these Then, once you have that outline, it's a lot easier to go back over it, to add detail, but it should give you a pretty ooh, proportional representation of a hand. And then, I mean, you know, everybody's hand looks different, but more or less, you'll get the pretty good basic shape. You can add in a little bit of a wrist. And from there, you can add more details. You can keep the knuckles. And then add in, you know, headline, heartline. I don't remember what all these lines mean, but they definitely mean something. And that's a basic shape of a hand.